If you have a touchscreen Chromebook, another thing that you can take advantage of is the ability to swipe your finger across the on-screen keyboard in order to type. So to do that, and this is much like using an Android device, you have the ability to tap in your text field, and then you can begin typing by dragging your finger across from letter to letter as you are wanting to complete a word. This takes some practice and some getting used to as you try to utilize this tool. You can also do this with a stylus like I'm using right now. So let's get started. I'm gonna say, create a video using the swiping feature on the on-screen keyboard. And I'll just tap on A. Now, I'm gonna check my writing here. As you can tell, the whole time that I was typing, it was popping up with words and suggestions along the top here. So if I press on the word create, I can actually go back, hit the backspace. I can capitalize it as I wish. I could have capitalized it in the first place. If I make a mistake, if I start typing, it might come up with some different options here. So I could choose between Dutch, Dutchy, and Duff. So I'll hit Dutch just because that's what I thought would it would choose next. Just because, well, I'm just testing it out. So I have the ability to use my backspace on the keyboard. I can down arrow using the enter button. I can capitalize using the capitalize button. If I want to keep caps lock on, I can double tap on the caps button just like you would on an iPad or an Android device. But this allows me Oops, I goofed up there. I don't want and. If I hit back, it'll get rid of the whole word and. Now, I didn't exactly want to capitalize all those words, but for time's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and submit my form so that way you get the idea. And that is how you can swipe using the on-screen keyboard on a touchscreen Chromebook.